So I wanted to show you the Chewy Mini Book X. After removing windows and let's just after removing windows and uh, putting Linux on there, as you can see. I've got different screens. So here I've got this is a widget. This is a widget. And this is Linux. So this is Linux. So everything works. The keyboard. I can use mouse gestures. Or I can use change desktops. Yeah. Uh, I can double click, I can split the, sorry, I can split the into four or into two. This is a widget. This is not an open thing it's a widget it's a widget so let's have a look now uh, it does do the gestures but not that not very well I can't do it well there's another the gesture there as well yeah and uh, the other gesture I don't seem to be able to do very well if there's full screen apps. But if there's not full screen apps, you can add more uh, desktops as well. You can add another one, I believe, here. Yeah. You can add another one. So with the gestures, you see all the apps. Uh, you can. use the trackpad to on some of them actually I don't know why this now but on some browsers uh, pinch to yeah pinch to zoom works pinch to zoom works you see pinch to zoom works pinch to zoom works and so you can see Pins to zoom works and uh, can do a half screen and then do another half screen if you want with that. That's a YouTube app. You can split the screen and you can have different desktops and see everything that's on your desktop or you can go into this corner and see everything that's on that particular desktop this to see all or down here to see all of the all of the different things you got here yeah and uh, the other good thing is that you can, of course, do uh, different, you can do uh, portrait view as well. And it's 360. What I haven't done with Linux yet is managed to switch off the keyboard, but it doesn't bother it if you put it down. It doesn't bother it if you put it down. But then you have this thing with the gestures. It's working better like that in portrait mode. So I can go here. And then I could uh, go to YouTube. I could, I believe, yeah, close that. Close it. Uh,
put my YouTube up so then I can scroll down YouTube in portrait mode and the other good thing is whoops there's a terrible phone stand that's wobbling all over don't ever buy from Lazada or Shopee uh, is that as a laptop of course it's very good it's a very good keyboard very usable uh, There's no sound on, and that's because I have, I believe, a Bluetooth Enter speaker on. I believe. Or, oh no, the sound's off here. You need to make it on the surrounding railings. Okay. Uh. 21st century is a legal duty. 21st century, you have a war, you have to clean up what you've got. 20th century, no legal obligation. And if it's a rubbish dump, which can explode, that does not make good faith relations. In fact, that makes you almost toxic to the countries that leave the mess behind. Oops. After dumping everything, then they never come back to say, can we do something or can we compensate any anything? They never come back for that. It's a lesson that I think uh, we all need to remember it is I'm a dangerous thing when I'm superpowers are playing these games again. Who's going to get caught in the crossfire anyway. again? Sometimes uh, I think about it. What else do we have? I think, yeah, what if it happened again? Uh, What's going to happen? I think the devastation yeah. will be worse. They say if history repeats itself. If you go like this. I get this weird feeling. I mean, and it's, I have it's, a mouse. It's a nice feeling, but you know. And actually, if I do this. Should be able Man, to, really yeah. You can see I got here in this altar, I got the mouse here. In 19, I was elected to be a provincial candidate. And from that time, they elected me to be the premier. Malita province is one. Ah. But this one doesn't work very well as a. Uh, Perfect mouse. Works to select things, but to drag things, I haven't set it up yet to, I think it's a double click. Yeah, it's a double click to move it. It's a double click to move it, yeah? So you do a double click to move it. I'm not sure if the gestures work. Not yet. Or do they? Yes, they work. The gestures work. The gestures work. Yeah, they work to change desktops. And the gestures work. So I have here, like that in tablet mode, I can then move that. I can have this mouse here for more. Uh, this also changes desktops. If I move down to here onto the taskbar or to here, I can change desktops. I can also change desktops like this. Uh -huh. Like this. Yeah. And uh, that's it. For Linux on. There's my apps. All applications. which is done with the super button or the windows button, whatever you want to see all your applications. You've got tablet mode, upside down mode, tent mode. I personally got it now in this mode with my Bluetooth speaker, my mouse, and my external keyboard, which is flippable like this. This goes like this, and this goes like
this. And that's it. That's my setup. The two wee mini book X with Linux, with mouse gestures, touch screen, uh, screen rotation, Bluetooth 5, Wi Fi 6, N150 Intel processor, 16 gigabyte RAM, and it's a 10 inch laptop. And it weighs less than a kilo. It weighs about the same as an iPad. Weighs about the same as an iPad. Not an iPad Air, an iPad Pro or something. And it's a fully workable desktop computer. You can have Windows on it. You can't have Mac on it. And uh, with an external screen, you have two USB-C ports. I've been charging through it and had three things inserted into one and four things inserted into the other. With an external screen, it works fine. But the screen rotation stops working if you use an external screen, unless it's also a touch screen. And I had to hack it so that when it started, it was sideways. It was in portrait mode. So I had to hack it so that it was in landscape mode using Linux. I'm quite sure there was the word chewy on this when I got it, but I'm not that sure. It is definitely here, chewy. It's there. And it's on the, there's the Intel, which I don't like stickers. And on the bottom you got here as well, the Minibook X. Yeah. And the other good thing is, of course, that all it uses is this charger, which is great to travel with. It's very small. So that's usually in my rucksack. Is usually that when I go to work. I've got an external screen at work that's about 20 inches. And that's fine. And I can use that in tent mode with the little mini Docker keyboard. Bluetooth keyboard, that's fantastic, is that? I don't think it's difficult to write on, even with this split splice bar. You get used to it in 10 minutes. It's very good, actually. Just said the trackpad is, uh, well, it's good, but it just doesn't function every gesture. I don't think, not yet, anyway. So there you go, Xiaomi Minibook X with Linux. That was uh, Kubuntu KDE Plasma, so it's a version of Debian Ubuntu 24 long-term service, but it has a desktop experience called KDE Plasma, which is a bit like a Mac or Windows with multiple desktops, it has spaces, very customizable. You can make it look any way you want. The Chewy Minibook X. For me, the best work computer for light to medium work, I use AI on it. I have Olama and local AI on it. Not the biggest, up to 8 billion parameters, it'll work quite fine. It doesn't take long to answer. So there you go. Chewy Minibook X with Linux or Ubuntu or Kubuntu KDE Plasma. I also take this. I run this at work and I run it at home. That's actually a Debian 13 operating system on there and I can boot it. And this one's got Kubuntu KDE Plasma, but I can twin boot it from here. Which means I've, I can have my files at home and my files at work and just take this. Have one of these at work, one of these at home. I just plug this in and load it. And all my pictures, my files, my sound files, my videos, work files, all on here. But it's the operating system. There you go, Chewy Minibook X. Absolutely fantastic. It was only about $300. John Spencer for the tech podcast section of my channel, signing off.